Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We are still working on our Tiger Moth at the moment because, uh, well, we haven't gotten any further. There are apparently three planes in the game at the moment. More are going to be added as this early access does progress. But at the moment, we are working on the first plane still. We've got another inspect the whole aircraft. According to my save game file at the beginning of this, uh, we are about 25% of the way through the mission. So I'm assuming that as they add more planes, they'll add more missions and stuff. I don't really know. We'll find that out a bit later on. But for now, we need to inspect this whole aircraft. We just had a call. The air marshal will be visiting us today. So every aircraft needs to be in pristine condition. You can use as many spare parts as necessary. But hurry up so we can send the aircraft to the paint shop. Sounds simple enough. So we've got to do a full aircraft inspection. Um... Which means that we want to go to option number three straight away, I would say, and start checking everything. And this this is all we're going to do to start with. We, we don't have to do any other inspections. Fuel cap there is fine. The front windshield is fine. And that front windshield is also fine. So after that... Uh, there doesn't, I'm assuming that the bodywork itself is alright, we haven't, like, it's not a combat plane, it hasn't been shot out or anything like that, so we'll check the wheels and the landing gear, we've got the wheel hub cap there, and then the compression legs, there are no other parts to check underneath the planes at the moment, so we've got nothing extra on them, it's just those bits is all we've got to check on here, and then that wheel cap over there, that one is all tickety-boo. Then we will check the cowlings all the way round, like that, and underneath there. So the big question is, do we need to strip the entire engine apart like we've done previously or not? I'm not really sure about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over into uh, dismantle mode. And I'm just going to open that one and we're going to take that one off. Like that. I'm going to do the same over on this side. Right engine cowling there. And we'll take that one off. Then we'll get rid of the top engine cowling like that. Did I check the bottom engine cowling? I'll go down. I did. I already checked that. Uh, I'll go through now and we'll check the exhaust pipes. Induction, carburetor, uh, air intake. That's all looking good. Fuel filter. Is fine. Magneto, pressure filter, timing gears. Ooh. Okay, we've got to take the timing gears unit off and inspect that one. That up there is absolutely pristine. Cylinder barrel, engine cover, ignition. And then we're looking at things like the spark plugs. I suspect I would also need to strip these engines apart and check inside. Uh, I can check some parts of this like this but I'm certainly not going to be able to check all of it like I can do the cylinder heads on there check that one and that one there but I can't do the internals of the cylinder heads so I mean, we've got to take the timing gears off we've got to get into that one and then I got an engine cover over this side I got a magneto over there as well uh, there'll be the oil tank cap which doesn't seem to need to be replaced uh, we've got the bits on the bottom here, the rocker covers. And then it's mostly going to be internals up in here. Let's go over to number one. We know that we've got to take off this timing gears unit, right? So I vote that we will start undoing that over there. And I'll also take that uh, spinner off. There, yeah, like that. Come down here for the left magneto, if I zoom in a little bit like that. And then I can also come out here to you. Undo that like that. And then, actually, what do I want to do next? Um, pressure filter. Right, yeah, it's, it's zooming in and out. It takes a while. So undo those two bits over there. I'll remove the fuel filter as well, just so that one's out of the way. And then the right magneto right there, so that one's out of the way. And now timing gears unit, I can undo 
all of those and take all of those bits off. So we've removed the timing gear. Get that completely out of the way. I'll come over to this side. Yeah, because we already removed all the other bits. Right, you're out. Now, crankshaft I can get to from there. I can't get to the rest of it. Fifteen minutes left. Right, that one's fine. There's nothing... Uh, oh, wait, what was that? Left ignition wires. They're fine. I've got... I need to take off that engine cover. So I want to go to number one. Get that propeller off. Air screw hub. Undo that one. And then take this cover off here. As soon as that one's out, we'll undo that cover there. So there's those two and those two over there. And then the bottom engine cowling, I'll also remove that. And... Oh. No. Engine cover won't go until the bottom cowling is out. There's that one out. Okay. Back to number three. I can check the spark plugs. You're okay. You're okay. Cylinder barrel up there. You're fine. Spark plug. You're fine. Spark. One damaged spark plug. One single solitary damaged spark plug. Camshaft cap. That one's fine. Go to option number one and remove that crankcase cap uh, cover there and also take off that camshaft cover right there. Go back to option number three, check the camshaft in there, that one is fine. I reckon I'm probably going to have to take that top off but I don't really know at the moment. So the fastest way to do this, I think, would be to go to option number one, like this, and go up there. So we'll remove the air intake pipe up there, and the exhaust pipe down here. Take those off. Like that. Carburetor there. Go off the top bit. And then... That induction pipe, you can come off as well, right. There. Okay, take those off, and then the ignition wires there, like that. I've also got the ignition wires on this one, like that. And I want to remove these whole blocks together. I'm going to do that first, All right? I know I've got one damaged spark plug on there, but that's all I've got. So if I take these four blocks off a minute, like this, there, and take you off as well, I can now go along and I can inspect these push rods and I can inspect the pistons as well. So we go like that. If the push rods are okay, we may not have to do anything else. It might just be that one... Um, spark plug. It may just be that one. The piston is fine. We may as well check the rings as we're here. The piston. Oh, great. We've got a damaged push rod up there. Right. One damaged push rod. That one out. That one's fine. That one's fine. Piston ring. There. That one and that one, they're all good. You are okay. There and... Oh, we got one damaged piston ring there. Piston rod, piston rod there and... Piston rod there. I've got one damaged ring and I've got a piston rod over there. To switch to you. That one piston... There, just that one piston ring. That's the only one that's damaged. Nope, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to right-click to come out of that. And then I want to come over here like this. Now, one of these is damaged. So I'm going to replace that one that's damaged. Good option three, like this. If it, there, it's that one over there. And we go back to option one. Spark plug. Option three. Yep, yeah, they're all fine over on this side. So I'll right click and I'll come out of that setting there. I've got that one piston bit over here now. Do I take that out the bottom or the top? I'm not sure about that. 
Uh, you, you, and you like that. And then that one comes out like that. There, and then piston rod. Ah, even though, in theory, I'm supposed to go through the top, I can do it like that. Right, it'll allow me to do it without removing that top engine cover. So let's right click on there. We'll come. Ten minutes left. We're running out of. We're running out of time. Timing gears. I can. The timing gears unit. I can actually run a repair on it. So let's see if we can do that a minute. There's one bit, and there's another bit, and oh, there's another bit. Right there. There's another bit. Ah, failed that bit, but the part's restored anyway. Now I can come over to here. Broken parts, piston ring, spark plug, piston rod. Sign here to confirm. And we'll go back over this way. So I'll put the piston, uh, I'll put the spark plug back on. Onto there. What we're hoping for on this... What we're really hoping for is that I don't need to replace any other bits. Get these bits that are damaged back on now. Yeah, that's what I want. Right. Um, go into the engine like that. Put that piston rods back on. And then put you on. And do those up. Just like that. Put the piston... with that ring uh, timing gears unit on there like that and then over here put that one back onto there so it might come up and tell us that we've completed the whole mission no it hasn't right in which case, something's damaged inside. Either in one of these, or inside the main engine. Because I've already put everything that was damaged back on now, haven't I? Uh, oh no, I haven't put it back on the engine. Put the cylinder blocks back on. I'll go with these. Oh, I know what I can do. There's, there is one check that I want to do. Pristine, fine. Okay, they're all in good condition on there. Cylinder block goes back on like that. It's not come up with that loud noise. So there's definitely something else that is still needing to be checked. I may have to strip the bottom parts of these apart in order to get to it. Um, That's fine. At the moment, I've got to remove the top engine cover. So I've got to undo those again. All the way up round on those. And then we've got to just wait for them to undo all the way up through like this. As soon as they've come off. This, this is the time consuming bit. We've got less than 10. We've got like 7 minutes left. I've already inspected most stuff now. So let that carry all the way down there. I've got most of those ordered to be taken apart. There. Right. Those are all coming off now. I can put some of this stuff back on, can't I? So I don't need to. I don't want to put anything on down there because it might it's just gonna to take too long. So it's any inspection that we want to do is inside here. I need to inspect in here. So long it is either that or there's a bit under here somewhere. Actually I can do that very, very quick and easy. Let's go to number one. Um Rocker cover. Right there. Right. And then Rocker cover. There, that one. Rocker cover. That one, rocker cover. Right, number three, inspect. That's what I need. That one is good. That one is good. Ah. Right, we've got one damaged piece in there. You're all okay. I didn't check that one. No, you're fine. Of course, the other bit is going to be the head gasket. There could be a gasket in there somewhere that is also damaged. But first up, let's take this one apart, shall we? We'll take that one there off, and we will take the next one off. And that rocker mechanism on there. 
I come straight off of there and I'm going to run over to here and I'm going to replace that rocker mechanism. That I'm going to run back over and we're going to go straight into number two because what it will do, if I go underneath there, I've already inspected the rest of them. If I put it on, no, that's not finished yet. My concern is that there's some gaskets somewhere that are damaged. Unless it's this. Right, I'm kind of hoping that it's one of these. Okay, it's not any of those, which means that we've... Five minutes left. It's these. I've got to strip these further apart. There's gaskets in there that are damaged. That's, that's the only option that we've got left now. So I gotta I gotta take these apart quick. Um, there, take that one out. That drops that one off, and then valve. Oh no! I've oh, great. I gotta take the I gotta take the spark plugs off for this. This is a slow process. This is a very slow process having to remove these. Um, well, I might be able to do this a bit quicker. Right, let's get all these spark plugs off. I'm not going to be able to do this in time. I've taken too long. There. Take that one off. Like that. Right, and then that rocker bracket underneath. Go to you. I got those on there. Let's going to drop that bit off. Right. It's the head gasket that I've got to check, and it's the head gasket that I haven't checked. That's the bit that's going to take us, it's going to take way too long. So I want to remove that one there, and that one there, and then that one on there, and that one on there, like that, and then you, like that. Oops. Right, cylinder head. Remove you. And then I've got those two right there. And that one. I've got like two minutes left to put this whole thing back together. It's never going to happen, is it? It's just never going to happen. Head gasket. Fine. Fine. One of these is damaged. Yeah. Right. I had to do that full strip down in order to be able to reach it. So we've got a head gasket on there. No. Not that one. It's this one. No, sir. Head gasket. There. Right. That's the bit I needed was that head gasket. Right there. Oh wait, two valves. I didn't even I didn't even pick up on the two valves. Right, I didn't pick up on those at all. Um but there's two valves in there that needed replacing and also a head gasket as well. I'm I'm just not going to be able to get this thing put back together in time, am I? Right. Um head gasket. Let's see, can I do this? Have I got any chance of being able to get this back together? Cylinder head there like that one over there one over there there like that right now um put that one on and do that up and then put that one on and do that up and then that one and do those up and then that one, and do those up. We're, we're sort of doing all right here. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it, though. Right, I really don't know that I'm going to have time to do this at all. I'm going to try my best. I've got, <laughs> I've got literally seconds away from being able to do this. It's, it's not going to happen at all. One minute. I don't have time. 
I'm too, I'm zoomed out too far now to even see what I'm doing. I've spent too long messing around. I should have taken these apart faster. Oops. And I'm also, I'm, I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, and spark plug. Of course, spark plugs take forever to do up. You gotta wait for ages to do for the spark plug to do up. That's the, the like the most time consuming part of the entire process is doing up the spark plug. So is this just Task completed, inspected the whole aircraft. Task oh, I can't do it. All primary tasks complete. Oh wait a minute, no. They got off a minute. Um, did I put those back on? Time is up. Right, I've run out of time on this. But it's still letting me... I'm still going. So whether I like I get a penalty for not doing it on time... Is that what I get? I don't know. I can only assume that that is the case. Because at the moment, it's still going. And then I got the ignition wires right there. I can put those back on. Uh, if I go over to this side, ignition wire needs to come off and then it needs to go back on again because it didn't like do that bit. There, like that. Now I can put that engine cover back on over the top of it. It should go back on properly. Uh, there's nothing in there that needs to go on at the moment, so I can start doing all of those up like that. There. Just putting them all back together like that. Uh, so if look over to this side. We've got induction pipe to go back onto there. Like that. And then I've got the right magneto to go in there. And then I've got the pressure filter to go on there. Let me come out. Go back into the engine a minute. Uh, we've got the camshaft cap. Now, the camshaft itself is still in there. That's fine. That one's gone back on. So I can now put the carburetor back on. So does it tell... I, I don't know if this is like a complete failure or if it's just a uh, like a, a penalty for not having completed it in time. We have done everything, right? So we've at least got that in our favour. It's just we haven't quite... We haven't quite completed everything. Now I've got that top cover up there that I need to just do all the rest of those up on. It won't take too long to do. And on the bottom engine cowling, that can go all back on like that. Uh, the magneto can go back on. Oil filter can go back on. Over this side, I've got the fuel filter to go on over there. Uh, that's most of it. So now we're looking at the front casing on there. That's all of those other bits. You're ready. Excellent. Put you back on. I've already done the bottom cover. That one on. Right, this is this is quick work now. That one's on there. Like that. And close you down. And that one back on like that and close you down as well. And then I've just got this front piece to put back together up here. And that should be the whole plane put back together. I'm hoping. I'm really, really hoping. I think we've done pretty well with it. It's just that we didn't quite do it in the 20 minutes that we had. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a complete mission failure or not. So there's the spinner to go over the top. That is now complete. Let's go. Sign here. 20 minutes. Inspect the whole aircraft. We did it. Save spare parts. We did that. Task finished after time to complete. We lose 30 on... Oh, no. Some parts may get damaged. Right magneto and pressure filter. <laughs> Pilot has missed his mission. Good job.
Ah. Oh, no. That is the worst one we've done ever. We lost 30 points for not finishing on time, but we also lost more points there. Continue career. We do... We... We did have to do the full strip down once more. So the full strip down, obviously, that was a little bit more time consuming. Um, but overall, I feel that we did fairly well with it. Um, it like if we, Maybe if we'd done the full strip down right from the start, that would have been better. Ooh, July 1940, number 64 fighter squadron, Kenley Airfield. It looks like we're moving to a new plane. The Spitfire! Peter Calamy. Welcome to the 64th. From now on, you'll be working on my plane. There's a little activity planned for today, so just familiarize yourself with the Spitty and make sure it's refueled for tomorrow. You got it, sir. You got it. New plane. Look at this bad boy. Oh, yeah. We're moving up in the world. We are moving up in the world. That is just fantastic. Right, so we need to first of all find out where is the fuel cap. Climb the wing space. Ah, nice. Right, so we physically climb up, not to be walked on. That bit there, don't walk on it. Do not walk on that bit right there. Not to be walked on. Why not? Why can't I walk on that bit? If I want to walk on that bit, I'll walk on that bit. Fuel cap right there. 100 octane, capacity 85 gallons. Uh, top engine cowling. So we'll do a lot of our work from up here by the look of it. This is awesome. Let's refuel this bad boy. We will run down here, pick up the hose and clamber back up there and drop that one in. And then we come over here. Bowser space controls. So how full does this one get? All the way up. All the way to the top. There we go. Right. It takes a lot of fuel, that one does. So let's get back up onto there and take you and then drop you up on there. And then we want to get back up on here. Go to option two and put our fuel cap back on like that. So there's the first one. We do that up tight. Put the little bitty down over the top. And... That's it. Look, you got, you've got even got a wheel on the back, not a skid. This thing is awesome. I'm loving the new Spitty. Spitty, he called it. Said it's a Spitty. Coolant. That's a new bit. Pick up the jack. That's a new, that's a new type of jack. Uh, these are different. I don't even know. Uh, that's, that's another jack. I don't even know what that's for. And then we got that jack there. That's, that's a familiar one. What's this? Install harmonization board. I've no idea what a harmonization board is for. Okay, we've got new and complicated things. This is definitely going to be different. Definitely, most definitely going to be different. Let's just complete this first job, shall we? Let's, let's do one on here, and then we want to go sign. Complete. Refuel the aircraft. Perfect job. So we get our 30 points back that we lost in our last job. So that, at least, is, is a good thing. Uh, continue career. What are we going to get? What are we going to be asked to do? Is it going to be easy, or are we going to have to do a full engine strip down as our very first thing? If it's a full engine strip down, we'll be leaving it for the next episode. I'm not starting one of those right now. Ooh, right. The Merlin is a water-cooled engine, which means that from time to time you'll need to refill the coolant. To do so, first get access to the head of tank, which is at the front of the engine, and unscrew the cap. Then pick up one of the canisters near the wall and fill it up. I can do that. Right, refuel first. We'll go and do that bit. We'll climb up here. And take that one off. And then I'll come down here. And I'll pick you up. And I'll come back up there. And I'll put that one in there. And I'll come down here. And I'll go like that. And we'll fill this one all the way up. There we go. Look at the meter here. Look, look at how many gallons we're pumping through into this thing. There. Right. 60 gallons we've just dumped in there. It's a thirsty beastie. This one is. Very thirsty beastie. 
Right, you go up there. So next up, I need to go to the coolant. Top engine cowling. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the coolant? <laughs> right. Uh, let me just do those back up again. Like that. And then we'll go to option one. Over here. Coolant access door. Coolant tank cap. Like that. And then we go over here. We get the coolant. Now, these cans here, one thing in the world, in the uh, Second World War, was the British had these square cans, right? These square cans were absolutely horrific, horrible, horrible things. And then you had the other type of fuel can, known as the jerry can, which was the German-made one. The jerry can was widely considered to be the best can you could get. And one thing that was noted in the war was that everybody in the British Army hated these, and they would do everything they could to get themselves a jerry can rather than one of those cans. Right? These cans were terrible. They, they, they glugged. They, they, they did not work very nicely at all. It was a very, very unpleasant thing to have to use. Um, right, we've got to do that. There we go. So now I can right click that one. All primary tasks. Uh, I gotta bring that down there and pressing space. Ah, right, I can dump it down eventually. Um but yeah, it's it I always thought that quite fascinating, the fact that the, the jerry can was it was because, you know, the, the jerry was the um, term, that, the slang term that they used to have for the Germans. And so the jerry can was obviously the, the German cans. And that was those fuel cans were highly sought after in the Second World War. That's what people wanted to use. Because they were so much better made than these, the British ones. These ones were terrible. Uh, you couldn't pour them very easily. They were uncomfortable to pour. They were difficult to gain access to anywhere. They would regularly split open. They were badly made. Um, pretty much the embarrassment of the British Army and for some reason even though High Command knew that the jerry cans were better they insisted on sticking with these probably because they didn't want to be copying the enemy um, you have to be careful about that sort of thing in the war because it, it could sort of you know if, if you're saying all well, the enemy's one is better officially then it it did make a difference didn't it but anyway um, fortunately we're no longer at war with Germany, and now you can go and get a jerry can, and almost everybody uses them. They are wonderful. I've used one of these before, and quite frankly, uh, quite, I'd be happy if I never had to do it again. I really would. So let's go into here. We've now done the coolant in... I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Yeah, see? I got another fuel cap that I've hidden in the bunker back over there. That's what I did. There, right. Refill coolant. Job done. Refill the aircraft. Job done. Final result. Perfect job. Another 30 points added to our total. We got 134 points still to go in order to be able to finish this one off. And then we will be a leading aircraft. Let's see what we got next. This is probably going to be the end of our episode, I should think, today. And then we will move on to something bigger and better in our next episode. So have you enjoyed this e fix engine knocking sounds? Yeah. Shop Patrol over Hastings noticed some faint knocking sounds from the engine. Please check what's wrong. Fix engine knocking sounds, refill coolant, and refuel the aircraft. We will do that next time. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.